was most messed up. <laughs> but then there's Islam. Yes, sir. Right. That's got us messed up too. That's right. right. That's right, sir. Let me deal with that for a moment in case you don't understand what I'm saying. Let me deal with that for a moment. Christianity came as a result of the Roman invasion That's right. of our African ancestors. Mm -hmm. yes. After Rome invaded Africa in 30 BC, That's right. 643, 648, somewhere around there, AD, the Arabs invaded mm -hmm. our ancestral land. Yes, they did. Y'all got this? Yes, sir. sir. So many black people have come to grips with the reality that Christianity is, in fact, a white man's religion. Mm -hmm. All right. And when they come to that awareness, they say, I'm stepping away from it. Mm -hmm. But they stepped away from it to go to <laughs> another cultural religion called Islam. Mm -hmm. We gotta come home. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We gotta come home. Yes. We gotta come back to us. That's yes. right. Yes. Now the problem is, and I shared this on yesterday, and Memphis, the problem is we are so, we we have we are we are descending. We're in such a downward spiral at such a high rate of speed. Yes. That we have to stop the descent. Y'all yes. following what I'm saying? Yes. Before we can begin to heal ourselves, we have to first slow down our descent and stop it. Yes. Right. Right. Now, follow what I'm saying. At the state that we are in right now, we are in intensive care. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, sir. Right now, we are in intensive yes. care. Yes, sir. And we're still spiraling downward. Come on, come on, come on. So when we finally do stop it, and y'all, it is slowing down. I, I, I know it's slowing down because every time I go to another city to lecture, brothers and sisters come and tell me, man, how one brother stood up yesterday and said, man, you saved my life. Right. Sure People are listening, watching the DVDs from this, this, from this podium right here.
message that I taught, I don't remember what message it was. I used in this message an analogy of a young man who bought a house. And when he bought that house, outside the back door was a big stone, big rock. Y'all remember that message? And he told God, God, you let me buy this house, this big rock is out here. And God told me to, 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 to push against the rock. So the brother started pushing, took this rock. After about three or four hours, the rock didn't move. He said, God, this rock ain't moving. God said, push, keep pushing. So out of obedience, he kept on pushing. About a week later, he looked up at God and said, God, this rock ain't going nowhere. I'm pushing, I'm doing what you told me to do, but it ain't moving. God said, push. Keep on pushing. So I said, all right, only because you said so. And he kept pushing. About another two weeks went by. And the dude looked up at God and said, God, I don't think you know what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm pushing, man, and this rock ain't budging, God. I'm you wrong on this one. <laughs> this rock ain't moving. And God said to the man, I didn't tell you to move the rock. I told you to push against the rock. The man said, what sense do that make? God said, what do you mean what sense do it make? Look at yourself. Look at your arms. Look how your muscles have developed. That weak back that you used to have is now strong because you've been pushing against this rock. Y'all make this make sense, y'all? You see, sometimes God tells us to do a thing, and we think it's something altogether different. That's right. It's really deep because do y'all not know that that message just kicked back at me over the last three weeks? When I taught that message, and that illustration came and I taught it, I knew what I was trying to say in the message, but I didn't see no that, that application of it to me. All right. St. Louis has been my rock. Man, if your leg is broke, 